What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. I just want to say thank you for all of the support that you guys have been giving the channel. We are on track to reach a thousand subscribers in no time if we keep up, you know, this progression. It is it has been unbelievable. You guys have been leaving so many comments, so many likes, um, and just really supporting the channel and, you know, really just patting me on the back for putting out, you know, these new videos, um, kind of rebranding the channel, doing stuff differently than I have before and it seems to be you know working pretty well you guys seem to like it it's a lot easier on me editing wise and script wise and all of that so I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me but with that being said if you guys are new here make sure to subscribe this is gonna be a quick video um, normally I do longer videos so go ahead and check out the, the other videos on the channel but let's get into it so it looks like we got some news for Mortal Kombat. Some of this is recent, some of this is a little bit old, but I haven't talked about it yet. So I just want to give my thoughts on it. Um, it looks like Mortal Kombat 2, uh, the movie is going to be coming out probably uh, next year, maybe 2025. I hope it's not that long, but it already looks like we're getting some leaked casting choices. And uh, if that's the case, then they're probably going to start shooting very soon and then editing. And then we can see this beautiful movie because I was a huge fan of the first one I really thought it was you know I thought it was a very good first movie to set up the universe but I really hope that they go all out on the tournament in this second movie uh, Mortal Kombat movies have a tendency to not do a freaking tournament for some reason they always wait um, I don't know why that's the case but super weird um, so you know, Mortal Kombat 2 is probably what they're going to call it. Uh, I hope that they call it Mortal Kombat Annihilation, and that way anytime somebody looks up Mortal Kombat Annihilation, they see the new movie instead of that absolute monstrosity that was Mortal Kombat Annihilation in 1997, because that movie sucked. Uh, anyway, so it looks like um, some of our casting uh, leaks that we're seeing is Carl Urban as Johnny Cage. I know a lot of people wanted uh, The Miz from WWE to play Johnny Cage because he kind of already is like a real life Johnny Cage. I don't really know if that's accurate or, you know, I, I, I don't watch WWE, so I don't know 100% if he would really be a good fit, but it seems like a lot of the internet felt that way. But I know a lot of Mortal Kombat fans are also WWE fans, which I don't really understand how those go hand in hand, but maybe there's a connection there. I don't know. Um, so they might be a little blindsided a little bit. Um, but Carl Urban, popular from The Boys, um, he's going to be playing our Johnny Cage, it looks like. Uh, and I think that that's an interesting choice. I really like him in The Boys. Um, to me, he doesn't really give me Johnny Cage like vibes, though. So I'm not 100% sure if maybe he's taking this role to kind of branch out from his normal type of character that he plays. He's also a lot older than we normally see Johnny Cage, especially when, you know, we're getting a younger cast for a lot of the characters. Um, and, you know, if you look at his age and you look at Sonya, you know, unless they kind of make him look younger in the movie, it's going to, it might be a little bit weird when, you know, they start becoming a couple and stuff, but unless they're just not going to do that, I don't really know. Um, but not that he's super old or anything like that you know they're both adults but it's just there's a bigger age difference than there is in the game um but it also looks like we have found our jade which is really cool so it looks like for jade we are going to be casting uh tati gabrielle or gabriel i'm not sure how to say it um but she has only been in one thing that i have ever seen her in and that is you from netflix netflix used season three and her character was very bland on that show. Um, not a lot going on. I mean, it's if you've ever seen you, it's it kind of drags along a little bit. Um, so I haven't seen her in anything else. I let me know down in the comments if you guys think that that's a good casting because I'm not really sure um, how she'll do stunt wise, choreography wise. You know, keeping up with people like Joe Taslim, it's it's gonna be hard. You know, so I'm not really sure. I want to know you guys you know, think about that casting. Um, she looks like Jade, so that's a plus. Um, other than that, you know, I just haven't seen her in enough, so maybe I'll have to check out some of the movies that she's in. Uh, as for Katana, we also got a Katana uh, casting. Now, I actually had a fan casting for Katana, and it looks like it's not going to be who I wanted, which is unfortunate. It looks like we're going to get Adeline Rudolph. Uh, I don't know um, what she's been 
or I've, I, she's been in Sabrina the Teenage Witch, but I haven't seen that show, so I don't know, um, how she is on that show, if she's a good actress or anything, um, or, you know, same thing, I don't know how she is choreography or stunt-wise, because there's gonna be a lot of fighting and a lot of moving around in the movie. So, it's gonna just be interesting to see that, um, I might have to watch some stuff that she's in, uh, but, you know, it, my fan casting for Katana... Um, because, you know, I, so I went to see John Wick and mainly because I love the John Wick movies, but also because the guy who plays Scorpion is in John Wick 4 and he has a daughter in the movie and she kicks ass in the movie, y'all. She is so cool in the movie, the way that she fights and moves around. It was, it was literally like how Katana fights in Mortal Kombat. Her name is Rina, I wanna say this right, Sawayama, I believe is how you say it. And she was in John Wick 4, dude, I'm telling you, like she was like slicing people. She's like got like a sword sometimes. She's like cutting people. She's like crawling all around them, going through their legs and like doing flips and shit. It was crazy. Now, was that, a, it could have been, you know, some of that could have been a stunt double. I don't know. But she also looks just like Katana and she like, like the, just the way that she was fighting in the movie was exactly how I would want Katana to kind of fight in, in Mortal Kombat 2. And so that was my fan casting right after I saw John Wick. I was like, dude, that, that could be our Katana. And, you know, the guy who plays Scorpion could kind of like give her a little, you know, open a door for her into the next Mortal Kombat movie. Um, but it doesn't look like that happened. Uh, unfortunately, but who knows? I hope Adeline Rudolph kicks ass at Katana. Katana's one of my favorite characters in Mortal Kombat. Um, and I think that there's a lot that they could do there. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what other actors they bring into this movie. Um, they're definitely getting some, some actors that a lot of people know, which is going to be really, really nice. Uh, it's going to be awesome to see, uh, you know, with i know kano technically died in the last movie but they have said um because a lot of people were saying that melina was dead and they were upset about that in the last movie but the directors have said you know in the mortal kombat universe no one's actually dead people can come back so you know i would love to see carl urban on screen with kano in the next movie i think that that shit would be so funny Johnny Cage and Kano in the game are just hilarious and it would be amazing to see those two actors go head to head and you know I'm, I'm really excited for the second movie um I loved the first movie it was like one of those first it was like one of those first movies during like the COVID season that was in theaters when like the theaters were just opening up and it was just like I had I had to go see it in theaters because I was so damn excited I love this I love these games I love the series and, I'm, and I love that movie, and I really hope that they nail the second one, um, but I have no doubt in my mind they killed the first one, um, so I think that they can do it again. Uh, like I said, they should name it Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Wipe that 1997 movie off the face of the earth, please, for the love of God. Um, other than that, I just want to make a quick video about this. I uh, didn't want to make like a whole 15 20 minute video like i normally do but like i said if you guys are new make sure to subscribe we're almost to 100 subscribers we might be there by the time i post this video it's it's very possible but with that being said i hope you guys like the video comment your guys's thoughts down below and i'll see you in the next one thanks guys